Last week I made a video talking about my top 5 favorite moments of Bakugo in My Hero Academia and today I'm gonna do a similar video except it's gonna be my top 5 favorite moments of Aizawa. The reason why I've decided to go with Aizawa is because I made a vote on Twitter last night where I picked out, you know, who do you want to see the most of Mineta, Aizawa and Toga and Aizawa both landed equally as the winner and I thought, you know, I've made more Toga videos than I've done Aizawa videos so I thought, okay, I guess I could just do Aizawa because diversity you know we love diversity we don't want to see the same thing over and over again so anyway let's get right into the top five favorite moments that I've picked for the character Aizawa at number five Aizawa's first introduction you know when we first see Aizawa in the series this moment was something that I really enjoyed seeing it's not like any badassery or anything like that it's I just like the seeing how he was introduced into the story when we see him lying on the ground you know with his sleeping bag drinking his juice or whatever and everyone's freaking out you know Horikoshi wanted to make sure that we're gonna remember this guy you know for a long time because he's gonna be a very relevant character in the story because he is their homeroom teacher and what better way to make sure his introduction is one that's very memorable even later on in the series you know even long after he's been introduced we're gonna remember how this man was originally introduced into the story and even occasionally in the story you know later on we see this theme of him with the sleeping bag reappearing which I guess is a really nice touch because it kind of goes to show you that Horikoshi didn't just want to use the original introduction with this sleeping bag he wanted to make the sleeping bag theme a thing for Aizawa obviously it's not like he lives in a sleeping bag or anything but I guess it's Horikoshi's way of handling comedy revolving around Aizawa's character because he's not really a comic relief character or anything like he's a very serious character but then having these comedic introductions or entrances it really does help out I think okay at number four Aizawa versus uh, the Dabi clone made by twice during the field trip arc now this is a moment that is soon to appear in the anime but it's one of my absolute favorite moments of Aizawa because we just see him going all out against a villain because their original idea to go there is to train it's gonna be a very harmless setting but then the villains appear and you know Aizawa he's pissed as fuck you know he he does not want to put the students in danger you know first we had the USJ arc where villains just sort of appeared out of nowhere you know it wasn't planned at all so it's kind of like that except the field trip is on a much more serious scale because the vanguard squad of the League of Villains they're like the best of the best you know it's Shigaraki's hand-picked soldiers essentially you know we have Dabi, we have Toga, we have Twice, Mustard, Muscular, Moonfish, Mr. Compress, Magni, Spinner, all of these people and out of all of the people do you know await Aizawa coming out of the lodge is Dabi. Now this is a clone of Dabi but his power is not weakened because of this. The only thing that's weakened is Dabi's endurance. However one could argue that Dabi didn't go all out because it wasn't the real deal. You know he wasn't really in danger so thus he may not have gone all out against Aizawa. He just wanted to test Aizawa's power. It's very possible. Not really confirmed but I really just like how fucking seriously Aizawa took this fight like we saw at one point he just buried his knee in Darby's face like he was not giving a shit about whether this guy was recognizable by his own mother after his fight or not that was not something that Aizawa cared about at all the only thing that he cared about was making sure that this villain is gonna stay down which he kind of managed to do because the clone actually kind of disintegrates from reaching its limit at number three Aizawa telling Deku about the big problem with using one for all before he knows full cow this was when they were using their powers with the ball and you know their racing course in one of the first episodes when they come to UA you know that one point when we see Deku use his finger to utilize one for all properly in order not to get fucked up entirely but before that we see Aizawa like erasing Deku's quirk and telling him that what are you gonna do if you know your body can't function properly are you just gonna keep relying on other people to fix your problems for you that is one of my absolute favorite moments Moments because it kind of shows us that okay Aizawa looks at each and every one and he thinks okay is this kid going to be all right on their own how do I tell them how to handle a situation properly and he tells Deku okay let's assume you fuck your entire body fighting someone like a villain but then your body is entirely done for right you can't even move but maybe there's more villains 
after that, how are you going to succeed in taking down those villains as well? What, what if there are civilians nearby that need your help? You can't even move. You can't do anything. You're just a liability at that point. And Deku kind of learned from that. Okay, I can't really use my entire arm, so I will try something else. I will try to learn from what Aizawa has told me. And that is one of the reasons why I think Aizawa is the best teacher at the UA, from what we've seen at least. Because he really goes real deep into people and their quirks, you know, what their flaws are and how to fix those flaws without actually telling the student how to fix it. He lets the student figure that out on, on their own and if they can't do that, well maybe they're not fit for the school. At number 2, the USJ arc when Aizawa was fighting off the villains during the attack. Uh, that's actually one of my absolute favorite moments because we get to see this man, this teacher who was previously thought to be an absolute dickhead, an asshole. You know, he is putting his life on the line to make sure that his students are going to be alright. We get to see that this teacher is not this asshole, this dickhead that we previously thought he was. He's actually one of the most valiant heroes that we had seen up until that point, you know, not counting like All Might and whatnot. We see how Aizawa is getting, you know, he's handling the normal villains kind of perfectly fine because they're kind of just rookies at that point, right? And Aizawa is, well, he's single-handedly dealing with them, really, apart from Kurogiri, Shigaraki, Nomu. Those three are obviously the ones that Aizawa couldn't really deal with at the same time. And we see that when Nomu actually enters the fight and Aizawa gets absolutely shit on, basically. And who can blame him? I mean, Nomu was basically engineered to fight All Might, and All Might is on an entirely different league than Aizawa, but Aizawa still went on to this guy, like he tried to erase the quirk of, um, I think it was Nomu or Shigaraki, like he, even like when he's about to fucking die basically, like he is so close to death, this Nomu could just poke Aizawa and he would be dead, right? And even at that moment, Aizawa is trying his best to make sure that Deku and everybody else in the class, they're gonna be fine. I'm still kind of shocked, you know, at how he survived that, because if not for like, you know, the heroes and All Might appearing when they did, you know, Aizawa would be dead, honestly, like he would. Even after that event, we see how badly injured Aizawa is, because firstly, we have Nomu, you know, absolutely us going crazy on this motherfucker like he is hurting breaking the bones of Aizawa like they're twigs basically and then we have Shigaraki who basically begins to disintegrate his elbow and you can just see the skin just peeling off to the point where you can see his muscles and the flesh from the inside of his arm kind of gruesome actually but that just shows you that this man is a proper hero He's not just some guy who's doing it for the money. He's not in it for the fame or the cash, you know, he is in it to protect people, to see a better tomorrow. Okay, moving on to my absolutely favorite moment of Aizawa to date in the manga and the anime is during the sports festival when Bakugo is fighting Ochako Uraraka. Now, this is my favorite fight, but the fight itself is not what I like about it because it's an Aizawa moment. He wasn't really participating in the fight. However, he was narrating it along with President Mike. And we see a bunch of pro heroes in the audience actually basically booing at Bakugo for being such an absolute monster against Ojako, like what they're saying is that okay he could just push her out, he doesn't have to extend the fight any longer if he's that much ahead of her, but then Aizawa steps in and says okay you wanna be like that? Well how about you hang up your cape motherfucker and stop being a hero because you obviously aren't seeing this the way you should. He tells this pro hero basically that he's not extending it because he wants to torment her, he's extending it because he acknowledges her power, he understands that he has to be giving it his all, he has to be as brutal as he may appear to be because if he wasn't, Ochako may actually be able to get into his blind spot and actually end the fight, you know, she may actually have been able to win. Now, obviously, that didn't happen because Bakugo understands that, you know, you can't just underestimate your opponent just because they may appear to be below you. Instead, you should actually kind of overestimate them even if that is a bad thing because at least then you will be giving it your all and you'll be sure to win this fight even if that means you may have been overusing your ability a little bit. You know, when he first came into the sports festival, he said to everyone watching, he's gonna win this, okay? And he wanted to make sure, okay, I'm gonna win this, so I'm gonna give it my all, no matter who I'm fighting, okay? I'm not just gonna go easy on you because you're a girl or just because you appear to be weaker than me. That isn't who Bakugo is, and Aizawa pretty much just puts that on the table. He explains to everyone, especially the pro hero that was actually nagging on Bakugo. So that is my absolutely favorite moment of Aizawa, even though it's just him 
him narrating the fight really which is kind of astonishing really like he's not really doing anything he's just talking and that is my favorite moment of Aizawa I hope a lot of people agree with me that this is the best Aizawa moment because it's one of the most powerful moments in the entire sports festival in my opinion anyway with that said I'm gonna end this video here because now we're going through all of my five favorite moments of Aizawa in My Hero Academia I would love to know what you guys think about this video like do you agree with some of my moments I actually had a really hard time picking out five moments to be honest because Aizawa isn't really the most centered character even though he is the homeroom teacher so I decided to go with these moments I really hope you agree but if you don't I'd love to know what, what your favorite moments of Aizawa is anyway as always if you did be sure to Detroit smash that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to my channel this has been chaotic plus and remember everyone toga is waifu toga is life